testing out a full car rig with the Flocini spring arm. Got JB in the cockpit doing our uh, zoom and gimbal control. Rose in the back. Better make a movie. All right. It's about to be a fun one. Now, before we get into that test, this project started over six months ago when I first started researching and purchasing the different pieces to build this car rig. Obviously, it's not Christmas anymore, but it was for me when I got to unbox this Tilta Speed Rail Car Mounting Kit. I picked it up on sale during Black Friday on B&H for just under $1,200, uh, but now it looks like it's coming in just under $1,500. $1,500 throughout this video. I'll be explaining the different price breakdowns because most people when they just see the whole rig it looks like that is very expensive and to be honest it's more affordable than you think. The second piece to come in came all the way from Sweden from a company called Flocini and this is their black arm designed specifically to mount between a vehicle such as a car, boat, ATV or something like that to a gimbal. Now, while doing my research, I came across a few other companies that make spring arms similar to this, such as ProAim and Tilta, and each of those are coming in a little over $1,000, which this Flow Cine one is $8,000 with this tranquilizer head. So why did I decide to go with that one? It comes down to reliability and versatility. This guy can hold up to a 50 pound camera and gimbal setup which is unmatched compared to those others. And the way it is engineered and machined is top of the line. They provide with you in this kit a whole bunch of their calculations and data relating to different weights and physics and all this research that they did that I found very impressive. It's information that you don't necessarily have to know, but is really nice to know and helps with the art that you are creating. Now those are the two main purchases I made for this car rig. I already had a camera, which the one I'm going to be using is the Canon C70, and a gimbal, which is the DJI Ronin M, which is a little bit of an older gimbal, but more on that later. I did have to buy a mounting plate for the Ronin M to attach from that to the Mitchell mount of the Flocini Black Arm. But one of the great things with the speed rail system is it's all universal, so you can buy things from different companies and it all fits together. Come check this out. Do you need to read? Uh, yeah, it's the Nucleus M. Isn't it's not about calibration. It's like it's very close to the camera, so we're having oh, a yeah. hard time like Wait, okay, zooming hang on, hang on. in. Just, just gotta, what if you just put it to the other side? So it's, it'll be focused. It's a, it's a weight thing. The, uh, gotcha. the weight doesn't really work so well. Yeah. Here, try it now. There that's you know. way better. Yeah, it was just like off the. Yeah. Computer. I don't think. We can, yeah, that's good. All right, ready to go. Josh, you want to give us a rundown on what you're going to do with your car? Yeah, I've been feeling awfully fast and awfully furious today. So I'm going to do some fast and furious driving around our suburban neighborhood. Good, good. I've been practicing my Vin Diesel impressions all yeah. morning. You want to give us a, yeah. give us a little taste? <clears throat> I live my life a quarter mile at a time. That's the only one I know, Good. I'm hope, being honest. Yeah, I hope when you do that, because you'll have your walkie. Just do it over the walkie and we'll get it. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna say them all. Okay, good, good. I'm going to say them all. I've got a need for speed. Alright, that's all I got now, actually. <laughs> Welcome back. What was happening? So the data cable got stuck on the other side. Which... I'm running two cables from the camera to inside the car. One is HDMI going to a small HD monitor for viewing, and the second is an Ethernet cable connecting the C70 to my iPad to control the camera settings as well as starting and stopping recording. Alright. Wait. Can we keep it going that way? Because I think it's getting stuck there. Oh, we can we can get rid of the safety cable. No, 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 no. I mean, like it's literally like, look, it's supposed safety to be second. like safety set. All right, Rose, do you want a walkie? You can't turn very quickly. That's the only thing. All right, well, uh, we won't be turning that quickly either. So walkie check. Need to follow us. Aye aye. Oh, okay. What lens do you have on there right now? So to oh, and with the speed booster, it goes to f2.8. Yep. Gotcha. Because a lot of people who do car rigs um, just have a prime, mm -hmm. which is nice, but like, you know, to, to reconfigure to a different focal length will take right. a lot of time. 
when you could just zoom. Ah, oh, it's so weird. Look at the effect on the road right here. What is it doing? It's like the, the vertigo effect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Because it gets so wide. Yeah. Because it's basically, we're basically at a full frame field view yeah. on a 17 millimeter lens. Uh, Are you in uh, oh. the, the middle mode right now? Is that yeah. the one? Yeah. Is that working well? Do you want me to keep moving around so you have like stuff to do, or do you want me to kind of stay in one area? What you did was amazing. Oh, I was about to ask how the how the run stop trigger is working, but it's on from the iPad. That's right. I'm gonna do a couple of laps around the neighborhood. Um, probably like starting at 10 miles an hour, and we might get up to like 20. Can I be production coordinator? Yes. Sure. I'll Production you, coordinator Rose. I'll add you to the call sheet. That's code for <laughs> not a real job. Can you hear me? Do you know how to press the talkie walkie button? The talkie walkie button? <laughs> it's called a radio, guys. <laughs> One of my other investments that is important for the car rig but also can be used for a number of other production purposes are radios. And I got a set of 12 Motorola CP200D radios. Which, if you know what that is, it's kind of a flex, and if you don't know what that is, probably means nothing. But they're really good digital radios. This is the production coordinator, coordinator speaking. speaking. Let's, Let's get, get uh, uh, the peanut, peanut gallery, gallery the calm down. How do you hear me? See, Steven knows how to press the button. How much your speed? Did you see me almost time. fall at this point? Nice. Back five. Ooh. Amazing, Josh. That looks so good. That looks phenomenal. Like, especially when you're accelerating. Like, next time if we can, I know it's like a little tricky with like everything, but like having you accelerate towards the car looks insane. Yeah. And I think my favorite angle was when you were right there, you know, then we could film you and like see that perspective, like from. You arriving really fast, and yeah. getting right here, and like stopping at the same, you know, trying to like adjusting to the same speed as Steven. Yeah, that was sick. I'm thinking I'm gonna reconfigure so it'll be the front camera. The Fuck yeah. That's good. And that's a wrap on the it's not first wrap. part. It's, not a wrap it's, a, it's a wrap on the trunk. No, that's lunch, is what you mean to say. That's lunch. Lunch break. What's for lunch? So you're just controlling the zoom, right? Sure. How did you feel about that first test? You know, it felt pretty solid. It yeah. was, uh, everything went according to plan, which is what you'd hope for. Um, I think our biggest challenge was the gimbal control because we're using the Ronin M, which is a little bit of an older gimbal. Mm -hmm. um, and the motors are not quite strong enough, we think. Um, whereas having like a Ronin 2 would be the ideal scenario with this. But for our, for our purposes right now, yeah. it's doing pretty well. What are the likelihoods you think of someone, like one of the neighbors coming out up to us and be like, What are you doing? You can't film here. Pretty high. Pretty high. Well, most people are chill. Yeah, which is good. 50 pounds. Gimbal and camera. You should give me his number so I can just talk to him. Along with triangulation from the speed rail, I also have a ratchet strap for extra security. Josh, slow down. Oh, I don't have the radio. <laughs> Gone, I need to give him like a earpiece or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's a wrap on Car Shoots Test Alpha. After our first test went well, I decided we needed some more speed. So I took it to the airport to film some planes during the Sun and Fun air show. And of course, we had to say hi to our friend, Captain Pete Mitchell Maverick. Hey, Captain Pete Mitchell Maverick here, and welcome to Sun and Fun 
I've already learned a lot through my experimentation and testing with the car rig, but I still have a long ways to go and a whole lot of production to do in the future. So make sure to stay subscribed if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest in film technology. And that's going to be a wrap for now. So thank you all for watching. And as always, don't forget to keep it pro. Thank you.